race 23. And after the excitement of the Melbourne Cup, we've got the Emirates Stakes, which is also some big money, £1.5 million worth of prize money to be had here. It's over 10 furlongs. It's a group one, as you'd imagine. So Foghorn, George, Del Hinton, Larwood, Art for Doug Warren, Shock to the System, Josh Sullivan, Velvet, Land, David Robertson, Cy Sunlight for Dan Hughes, Silvery Art for Doug Warren, Autumn Born for Alex Cherry, Hyphy, Havitas for Vinnie Gerard, Django's Jewel for Django, Rome Conquest for Paul Rose, Royal Burr for Carl Arrogante, and Telekinesis for Gr uh, John Morgan, The Coat Deserve for Darren Thompson, Fionn Firma for Vinnie Gerard, and Shockwave for Django makes up 15. And Django Shockwave is a 3-1 favourite here. They're in the gates that are away. The one that just missed the... There was Hyphy Abitas, I think. But uh, he's got plenty to settle down. And it's Telekinesis the Grey that's taken them along. We're moving on the outside. It's Fuyong Fermo. And we'll push him through here. See if we can get a lead up. And it's going to be Silvery Art from Doc Warren. Stables. I think they're based down somewhere in uh, Australia. I forget where you are, Doug. Uh, Melbourne, maybe. But anyway, it's Silvery Art of Doug Warren that leads us by about five to Hyphy Habitus, which is sort of running centre course. We go over towards the fence of Foghorn George, Pink Silks. Widest of all here is, uh, I think that's Shockwave. Uh, oh no, it's Django's Jewel, the favourite. He's there and he's uh, widest of all, and he's going to be going a couple of extra lengths as he goes swing right handed as they're going to go round the top half of the home bend. But it's Silvery Art that leads, but uh, the rest are all shortening that gap considerably now. If I've not called your name, I apologise, but it's Silvery Art that leads us from Foghorn George in second. Fionn Fermo is third. The great Telekinesis Hammond coming back into the race now, going to take it up alongside Silvery Art. So now it's Telekinesis inside the four furlongs. Half a mile to go, and it's Telekinesis moving well on the outside. He's Rome Conquest. Fionn Fermo still there. Foghorn George pushing through kindly is Shockwave, and also Velvet Lad making a move now inside the three, and it's Silvery Art. Silvery Art, the come back up to challenge Telekinesis, but it's Telekinesis now and Velvet Lad that take it up, so Telekinesis and Velvet Lad inside the two, it's Telekinesis and Velvet Lad and they're pulling away but Silvery Art won't give up yet, but it's Telekinesis from Velvet Lad and it's Telekinesis that pushes half a length inside the final, coming down to the final furlong, and it's Telekinesis now that pulls away, he says go and Telekinesis goes, inside the final furlong and it's Telekinesis they come down to the half, still Telekinesis shot away for Young Firma, Django's Jewel for Paul George, are they going to catch and they're not. Telegon is going to hang on to this and take this for John Moore. A good win there. Wins the Emirates Stakes. That's a big fat prize. Money. So a good win there for John. Well done. Telekinesis takes it second with Shockwave for Django along with Django's Jules. It was third. Foghorn George was fourth for Del Hinton. And fifth was Shock to the System for Josh Sutherland.